nothing major. Just did that little time lapse. Um, didn't really. I don't even think I left. I mean, I did. I left the house for like five minutes to go get some coffee. Um, that's about it, though. I didn't really. I didn't really leave the house, so it was just here working on stuff. Uh, I edited the con video this morning, uh, the Milwaukee Comic Con. Uh, that was pretty cool. I like that edit. That was a, it came out pretty nice. Uh, I then also did some research. Uh, try to find examples of dossiers that I could use to kind of build mine off of. I'm thinking of using the manila folders that have kind of like... They're like the legal folders, I guess. They have the top kind of like... Not binder clips, but like the, the, the holdbacks. So I'll have like two hole punches in the, in, the, in the papers. So I'll actually print everything out separately put it in the top so like when you get the like black dossier of of wolf pack you'll have it'll be like kind of a put together thing and it won't be just, it won't just be a bunch of papers in a in a you know just just a simple manila folder in researching that however i did find uh i guess it's a miniature game called infinity by Cor corvus something i don't even know what the name of the company was uh but their designs their the, whoever did their art Oh, it looks familiar. It looks familiar. I'm not sure who it is, but it looks familiar. Whoever did their art for their concept stuff is brilliant. I love their art. Now, that did take me on a tangent for about 10 minutes while I just collected a bunch of that concept art for their miniatures, but still, I got a lot of uh, really cool ideas for how to present. I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking like a black manila folder, but I'm not sure how that's going to work with like white paper. It might kind of look weird. Uh, but then I could get some sort of like, like resume paper, or something colored, you know, something of a, of a darker nature that I could still print black on, so so as to not have very high cost of printing. So I'm still kind of debating on that. I didn't get a chance to put up that the the boot thing. Uh, I actually maybe I'll do that before I go to bed. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do it in like a boot style or a kind of a I feel like, like as I said before I hate to say comic book style like a hero style but it's either going to be like form fitting or it's going to be a boot there are really no other options I'm thinking I'm leaning towards boot just because these are meant to be hand to hand stealth combatants so they're not meant to make a lot of noise because the other the boot I was thinking of would have kind of like a I mean it would, it would leave an impression and the whole point is that they're not going to leave an impression. They're not going to leave you know, footprints or anything that's identifiable. The White Tower is nearly done. I just got a couple more tests to run in the morning. Uh, I did switch Lightroom to use the graphics card more. So I think that's going to help with just Lightroom performance in general. Hopefully, hopefully this thing's in tip top. So I, I'm not seeing any other pop-ups. I'm not seeing any other errors. Like I said, just a couple more tests to run tomorrow. But otherwise, now it turns off. I was trying to wait for this thing to turn off for 10 minutes. The fact that it turns on so often, I think there's definitely some, like, holes in our in our closed environment. Something to keep in mind to try to clean, clean up our energy bills and things like that. But that's basically it. I don't really have much else to say. Um, I hope you guys have some thoughts on that boot versus suit kind of thing. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of leaning towards that, but we'll see what happens. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.